Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're back to talking about bags, which is one of my favorite topics of all time, of course. And today I wanted to show you my most used bags and my least used bags. This year, we hardly went out of the house. I'm speaking for myself, of course, I'm from the Philippines. And usually my trips outside the house involve doing some sort of errand, going to the bank, going to the grocery, maybe visiting my parents, and that's about it. My lifestyle has changed significantly in these past two years. So I think my needs in terms of what bag to bring for the day has changed significantly as well. As compared to before, when I had a much busier lifestyle, I used to travel a lot, I used to go to events, I used to go to meetings, I needed a bigger bag. Nowadays, I need tiny small bags just to fit the essentials. And so yeah, I think that has made a huge difference comparing my lifestyle from two years ago and during this pandemic. And so yeah, with that in mind, I wanted to show you guys my five use bags during this pandemic. So let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned before, small bags are really much more useful nowadays and this one has proved to be very useful to me uh, during this time. I recently purchased this but I found myself using it a lot and I'm very happy with it. I can really just fit the essentials in this. This is really more like a pouch than a bag. I can just put in my card holder, my lipstick, my phone and maybe a small notebook and yeah, it fits the essential. I really like using this bag. It's more of like an armpit bag, if you would call it that. Like looking back at the sort of bags that I used to bring before, they were really huge compared to this. And yeah, this is really something that I would bring to the grocery or to the mall just to buy the basics, essentials. And yeah, I love the fact that I can change the strap. I do have one, two straps on this, which are not Louis Vuitton. These are purchased online. And I also have a generic gold chain, which I can turn into a crossbody strap. I really do like how small this bag is and how easy it is to use and how it just matches everything that I'm wearing at the moment. Usually I'm in baby doll dresses and sneakers or in sweatsuits and this is really such a perfect bag for a casual outfit. So yeah, this is number one on my list. Next most used bag is this one. This is uh, from Fendi of course. And actually, this has been my most used bag even before the pandemic. I have been using this nonstop since I got it in 2019, in the beginning of 2019. And this is the Fendi Mama Baguette. And you can store so much in this. I brought this to Europe when we went last 2019 and this was the only bag that I used and it matched all my outfits and it was so easy to carry and yeah, it's really a no-brainer. You would think that a logo bag would be hard to match, but actually it matches everything. And the dark brown and the sort of like light brown contrast is really so versatile and they are neutral. So they match pretty much any outfit. I love how lightweight this is and how I don't really need to baby this bag because surprisingly for a fabric bag, I have not made any spills on it. It doesn't really show because it has like a pattern on it. It has a logo pattern. And yeah, it's just so easy to use. I can store so much. I just used this yesterday actually. And I still have my things inside and I can just store so much in this. And since the shape is sort of like um, triangular here and the base is wider, you can store so much. So. Yeah, it's a very easy bag to use and when I don't know what bag to bring, I just bring this one. Next up for my most used bag is this bag. I recently got this but I have been using this non-stop and it has just been such a joy to use really. I love how neutral this green is and surprisingly it matches everything in my closet. I love how easy it is to use, very effortless. Even though it's made of lambskin leather, I don't really need to baby it. There are no scratches on it and since I got it pre-love, it does show signs of use but I think this is the type of bag that looks better in time. The more you use it, the better it looks. And I really like the combination of this army green color with the ruthenium 
hardware because it just looks so casual like this is perfect for jeans and a t-shirt so i have been using it more like a shoulder bag but i can also use it as a crossbody bag which i love ever since the first time that i saw this bag i really fell in love with it and i'm glad that it's finally mine okay next up is this balenciaga city bag this actually came as a surprise because i just picked up this bag pre-love because i thought it looked like denim and apart from that i've always liked the balenciaga city bag particularly this one the first bag i've always wanted one but when i saw this in blue i really liked it and the price was also very affordable so i picked it up and i've been using this so much lately i think that the size is really perfect and i love that you can carry it this way and it has a, a strap that's very comfortable that you can carry this way. It's such a no-brainer bag. First, because of its color, because it looks like denim, so it matches everything in my closet. And apart from that, it looks distressed, and it looks uh, vintage-y, and so it's very easy to incorporate into my wardrobe. Yeah, I really like it. I like how casual it is. And I have noticed all the bags that I have been using lately are all casual bags because I don't really get to dress up lately. I don't really need to go to meetings and I don't need to meet people or go to events. And so all these bags are very, very casual. And yeah, I, I love them. I love how I don't really need to think about it. When I, when I pick them up, I don't really need to like... Uh, think of the outfit if it really matches with my shoes because I know that it does and yeah this is just one of them it's just an easy bag and actually I've been thinking of getting them in different colors maybe like a pink color or a yellow one just to change things up love this bag on my list of most used bags is this one from Prada and this is the re-edition 2005 i do have it in the black version this one and looking at them you would think that i would be using this more actually i use this more than the black one i'm not sure what it is but i guess my wardrobe is more on the light neutral side than black it just doesn't make any sense i guess i just like this color more and it's just so much easier to wear i like the leather strap it's very comfortable to wear and it's just sort of like a bag that you can just throw on and use and just like the other bags you can put so many things inside so of course this bag totally reminds me of a bag that i had in the late 90s early 2000s i did have a bag like this I think that's why I love this bag so much because it just reminds me of the time and of simpler times, I guess. And yeah, I just really love it. It's so simple and easy and surprisingly, it does not get dirty. And if it does, I know that I can just scrub it out and it's just so easy to take care of. And yeah, really one of my most used bags. Such a surprise because I thought that I would baby this bag because of the color. I thought I would not use it as much, but yeah i use it a lot so i wanted to do a special mention for my most used bags prior to the pandemic and it is this one for sure i use this bag so much especially for events for meetings i would just bring this bag with me all the time it does not close fully it just has three compartments and the middle part is zipped i would still use this a lot as a handheld bag and it does come with a strap that allows you to wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody bag. I just love it. I, I love the color and how it just matched everything that I own. But to be honest, I haven't been using this lately. I think because I've been wearing more casual clothes lately. And this one looks uh, very dressed up. This looks very uh, elegant and classic chic. And I think my wardrobe lately has been more t-shirt jeans dresses. And yeah, that's maybe the reason why I don't wear this so much. And of course, another special mention to one of my most used bags prior to the pandemic. It is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I would use this so much back then for traveling, for meetings, for events, and it would just fit my entire life. This can fit so much and more, and I would just use this all the time. But lately, 
I'm not sure why. I think because it looks too dressed up for me for the sort of outfits that I wear lately. I don't really get to pick it up so much. I think maybe the pochette Matisse in the monogram print would be more casual and more apt to use for day-to-day -day activities. But this one looks a little bit dressed up, which I used to love before. And another special mention, one of my most used bags prior to the pandemic was this one. My Chanel classic flap in the size small with gold hardware. This is a vintage bag and I used to wear this whenever I would go out for dinners, for events. This was really heavily used prior to the pandemic. Lately, I haven't really been using this as much. Same reason, I guess, as the others, and it just looks too dressed up for my lifestyle today. And yeah, really love this bag though. Like, I think when things go back to normal, I'm going to start using these three again, for sure. Okay, on to my least used bags. Okay, so one of my least used bags is this one. I did make a whole video about this before, about how much I love the Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag, but I just don't use it as much. Uh, until now, I still don't use it as much because I tend to gravitate towards more casual looking bags and this one is just too beautiful i think to be used for my day-to-day -day outfits i really still do love this bag though i really love how much i can put in this bag i did give my reasons before on why i don't use it it's because it's too beautiful and i don't want to ruin it but i still do love it very much i can never part with this like i cannot imagine i just love having it in my collection but I don't get to use it as much, especially now during this pandemic. Next up is this Bottega Veneta bag. Not sure why I don't use it a lot. This looks very casual and yeah. I really love this bag though. Like I love how squishy it is. I love how soft the leather is. And I really love using it. Like it just looks so luxurious. But it's been a struggle to use it lately. I'm not sure why. One theory is it has a different kind of beige color. It doesn't really have a pinkish sort of beige color. And I think that is why it doesn't match with my clothes. Like whenever I wear beige or neutral colors, it seems to clash with it. I'm not sure why. But anyway, I do need to make an effort. I do still love this bag. I will never part with it even though I don't get to use it as much. And I still love the way it looks, the way it feels when I, when I wear it. And it, it really is a luxurious bag, but yeah, I don't get to wear it a lot. Such a shame though, because when I bought this, I was so sure that I'll use it every single day, but um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be the case. Another one on my least used bags list is this Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. Um, yeah, I think when I purchased this, I just wanted to relive the memory of having a Speedy 30. But I did not think it through. Now I realize that I should have gotten a bandolier and I should have gotten it in a size 25. But I still do love this bag. I just don't use it anymore. I can never part with it because I did before. I did sell my old Speedy before and I ended up buying it back, which is why I have this now. And I don't want to make that same mistake again. I think it is a classic bag, but yeah, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I think it reminds me too much of like meetings and going to events and doing that sort of thing. And lately, I can't imagine bringing this with me to the mall or to the bank. I don't know, I guess it's just too dressy. It just feels that way for me anyway. And yeah, anything handheld is sort of like very ladylike and very elegant and classy. And lately I haven't been dressing that way and it just sort of clashes with the sort of uh, outfits that I wear lately. But it, I do still love it. I just wish uh, I got it in the bandolier because that was my chance to upgrade it to a bandolier bag. But I didn't. I got the exact same bag. But I do like the 30 handheld. So, yeah. 
haven't been using this lately at all, but I still love it. Next up is this Prada Re-Edition 2005. This is really such a funny story because when I bought this, I was so sure that I would use it every single day. And it ended up that I used this so much more. Like what I mentioned earlier, I really love this, this uh, beige one. And this one, although it does have that uh, very edgy strap that you can add on to it, it looks very cool and a very urban, modern. I'm not sure if it is me. I'm not sure if my style is really like this. Very different from my style, from the things that I usually wear. I think this looks great with coats. When you, when you wear a coat or when you wear something that's layered. But I'm not sure. Like I haven't really been wearing this at all. When I look at this, I feel pressured because I feel like I have to dress up my outfit. Like I have to dress the part in order to wear this, in order for it to match uh, what I'm wearing. And it's something that I feel like I have to think about and really like plan the night before. Yeah, I don't really feel that with this bag. Like this one, I just grab and go and I know for sure that it matches what I'm wearing. But when I wear it with just this silver chain, it is much easier for sure. And so yeah, those are my most used bags and my least used bags in my collection. I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And let me know what else you would like to see in terms of bags, in terms of clothes, lifestyle, whatever. I would be happy to make a vlog for you guys. That's it for me. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.